Hey guys, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Um, so in the last episode, we finished up with Okumura's Palace. Now, uh, I know there was a, a snafu in the last episode where I lost some footage, and again, I'm really sorry about that. I hope that never happens again, and I'll try and be more diligent about uh, keeping an eye on my um, recording software. But anyways, uh, I'm just really glad we're done with the palace. I, just just to be totally open and honest, like that's never been my favorite like my favorite palace. Um, I guess a better way to put it is my least favorite palace, um, even in the original, and they didn't really do anything to improve it. In fact, they made the boss battle like so much more frustrating that uh, it's almost universally um, agreed upon and uh, online that uh, that was not good. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're past it. We're past that um, element, and uh, uh, you know, otherwise that. I have nothing really to complain about this game. Like, in fact, I've been kind of loving everything. I know it's a, it, this is a long ass game and we've been doing a lot of episodes. What are we, 40, chapter, episode 48? So we've been in this a lot and you know, again, uh, it could be like some fatigue. I was even thinking of stepping away for like a, for a little bit just to like play another game to freshen up. I was, I'm still eyeing Final Fantasy VII. Um, so I may, you know, at some point take a break of, eventually. Uh, I. I feel like I can, you know, I still want to keep going because, you know, we, we finished Okumura and uh, I do want to see everything that's going. So, um, for now, we're going to keep going. I think the break may happen around Last of Us 2 because I'm definitely going to play that. I can't hold off on that because spoilers and all that is going to get too rampant. Um, but for now, we have 20 days uh, until Haru is sold off um, to, to kind of run around and do stuff. So, I did... Um, I try not to do spoilers, but uh, I was getting a little concerned about the number of confidants and where we are with that. Because the fact that Morgana is at nine means that we are getting a little far, like pretty far along. And there are some of these characters I know that lock off after a while. Like if you haven't, if you haven't maxed them um, within a certain date, then you lose your chance. Um, and I don't want that to happen for any of our characters. Um, we're close with these guys. But uh, the two that I know about, well, one that I know about is, uh, um, is it Justice? No, that's Judge. Where's Justice? Um, Goro. Goro is one that will lock off after a while. Um, and then there's another character who we haven't even gotten as in the confidant yet, and they're both gonna lock off at a certain time. So I think what I'm gonna do from now on is prioritize them. Uh, if they're if they come up as like a hangout and a level up, then we're gonna do them. Um, but for now, we are gonna try and do Death, the Doctor, and uh, Kawakami to max them out and get them out of the way. But so that's kind of my goal for that. Um, uh, God, I don't even know if my personas are in the right place. Uh, I have two stars. We may have to go clean up. I have two deaths. We may have to go clean up um, some of our personas uh, just to make all that work. Um, but otherwise, uh, let's just kind of keep going. I think right now we have to do a sleep because we just finished. Or uh, unless I can do. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's play a game. Uh, let's continue. Punch. Ouch. So, because I do need that charm maxed out, probably more than the, any of the other stats. Okay. Let's start a punch out. Oh. Our opponent is here. The fight's about to start. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes our most skilled boxer, Graham Cracker Joe. <laughs> he might be small, but don't underestimate him. He's quick. His quick movements will decimate you. I'm here with you. Just remember what we practiced. Now. Don't lose. Right as the bell rings, Joe becomes comes out aggressive. Don't let him shake you up. Persevere and figure out what his weakness is. How are we supposed to do that? Wait, it looks like his form loosens up after he goes on the offensive. What are you uh, running around for? Are you trying to... Oh, I get it. You're on the right track. Sway to avoid his attacks. The challenger lands an impressive counter and Joe falters. Good, good. Now go for the flurry. What an intense string of punches. Joe goes down. All right, the count's starting. I hope he doesn't get up. Three, four, oh, Joe's back up. <laughs> that was always frustrating, a punch out. You've got him on his heels. Keep up your footwork. Give him a flurry. <laughs> what a combo. Joe's go down. Joe's goes, Joe goes down. 
Nine, ten. Graham Joe has crumbled. Our challenger wins. Yeah. Nice bow. I expect nothing less out of my apprentice. Yes. You managed to win your first match by a hair. Yeah. The passion you showed during your fight was so cool. Hmm. Keep working on that charm by playing video games. That happens in real life too, I think. Nice. I'm sure you're tired after. Okay. All right. Tomorrow's a new day. More, uh, more confidant activities to do. Oh, or we go to the velvet room. Huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions. It seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Uh, well, thanks for your faith your in us. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Um, is it going well? You are quite the cautious one. Allow me to warn you on one matter. Uh-oh. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Hmm. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. What the? Oh. Um. The dream again. The dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. His eyes are glowing yellow, kind of like all the shadows do whenever we have to fight them. And... I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. <sighs> We'll just worry about that later. <laughs> oh. Do we have a day off? Now we wait like usual. It's not an excuse to slack off. We should still use our time wisely. Thanks, cat. Um, what are your plans? Simply waiting isn't very fun. People watching it hasn't fared too well either. I'll be at the station for a while, okay? Decide later. What's the plan? Have you already decided? I'm feeling kind of anxious, so I came outside LeBlanc. Let me know what's up. I don't care what it is. Um, decide later. So I think the first thing I need to do is is sort out my um, my personas. Go to the velvet room. Jump in here. Yeah, yeah. Don't. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's see. How fair. Create new personas. Let's, let's see. I need. Uh, God, what am I doing here? There's. This is overwhelming. All right. Um. Oh, you know what? I do also need to remember. Okay. Well, let's see. So death. So I got a level sixty-nine death because of uh, DLC, and he'd be really expensive to bring back. So I'm kind of thinking I might want to keep him and get rid of this death. So let's see what happens if I I don't need this. I don't need two stars. Dekarabi already have that. Dekarabi again. Uh. Faith, I don't actually need. Tower, I don't need. I do need a sun, though. So, maybe I'll do that. Will this truly help you? Oh, it's one of these guys. Alright, let's do it. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Uh, strengthen magic skills by 25. Technical damage. Decrease the cost of electricity. Well, let's do strengthen attacks. Uh, I'm gonna take the bless. I'm gonna take... I want to take the Psy, dodge physical attacks, and increase accuracy. Swift Strike, 
Wait, hold on. We're gonna take both sides. I'll put those together, and then we'll do dodge physical. Its power will be nothing on you. Then let us begin. Get that. Thunderbird. Cool. New persona. Um, okay, so I don't need two stars again. I'm gonna see. Well, I do need a temperance. Um, moon, um, I don't need anymore because of um, uh, Mishima. Sorry, Looks pretty tough. can I make this one? He's level. He's a level higher than me. Let's try it. Great things are Dang it! Do you however, wish a fusion <gasps> greater than your own Ooh, power? however, given your circumstances, I may be willing to expressly facilitate your rehabilitation. 36... Uh, no, that's... No, 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 no. Okay. Um, let's do a lower level one. Do you really need this? Um... Do you really need this? Not really. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Strengthen physical skills by 20. SP cost by a side half. Let's do the physical. Um, I definitely want regenerate counter is pretty good. We already have Psy in the other one. Let's do. Let's do wind. It will receive a great deal of my my. Mitra. Um, okay, level up. Makuga. Dekunda. Um. Removes all stat buffs for. debuffs for all. That's pretty handy from what I found in the last one. So. Medium to all foes. Low chance of bless insta kill. Those are really not that helpful, so. Uh, okay, confirm. Alright, so we have. I gotta keep the moon because he's such a good persona. Um. Death, Devil, uh, Devil is Oya, Star is Hifumi, Counselor, Emperor, Hermit, Sun, Temperer. Okay, I think I have one of everything that I still need. The only ones that I don't have that I need are um, uh, Hierophant, which is for uh, Sojuro, and oh god, I need Justice too. Okay, so I need Justice, Hierophant, um, Priestess is uh, Makoto, so I need her too. Crap. Um, the good news is we could get rid of Death and Temperance soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Justice and Hermit. No, oh wait, I have Hermit. Justice and... Hierophant, because I can't even use Priestess. I can't even up uh, Makoto yet. Okay, so let's look for Justice and Hiro for you change your mind? You'd like to read the summoning. The paths you have walked. So let's start low. Go by um, level. Okay, so Justice and Hiro. All right, so I'll take these two. We're doing pretty good on um, money too, which is which is good. Okay, all right, so let's get out of here. Heading back? Yes, I want to go back. Uh, so glad we can hold so many of these personas now. All right, so um, what we can do is check if we have new books. Although I have plenty of books I need to read. Okay, uh, Tokyo Shrines, Night Skies. Uh, all right. These aren't totally necessary, because they just show different areas of the city, which we can find naturally. Um, we have a DVD. Um, let's go to the arcade to get some SP. Hey, what's up, Ryuji? Okay. Okay, so now let's do, let's do a check on Yusuke can go up. Futaba, Takimi can go up. Um, but what I want to also check out is this beef bowl shop where I got the job. Um, I need to use. Where is that? Wait, is this it? Um, 
Oh, shift is at night. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll do that at night then. Okay, so then let's do Takimi. Let's, uh, let's, let's max out her... Let's see... Clinic. Okay. Talk to Takimi. Hey. Um, the evenings have been getting cooler. It's easy to get sick in that in-between period as the seasons change. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so what are you here for today? I want to do a clinical trial. You, I've made progress with the medicine. Can you tag along for a bit? Ooh. I can feel my clothes are fun, grow. Hang out with her. Uh, Eno, everyone takes us there. Go. We always go to the stupid park. Here. Uh, all the data, specimens, and sample medicine, they're all here inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Um, based on what I read in the finding summary, oh wait, based on what I read in the finding summary, you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment and we'll be ready to treat Miwachan with it. Excellent. Then the rest is up to you. Um, so, is this the kid from your study? So, this is the kid from your study, hmm? <laughs> yes, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Well, I don't know if that's true. She just had us drinking random, random concoctions. Um, please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? All right, I'll call you later. He's the doctor treating Miwachan. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. Uh, I have to thank you again. All of this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Uh, don't worry about it. It was for my exam. It was rough. <laughs> uh, I would say don't worry about it. I see. Okay. Then I guess I won't. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success and they'll complete the development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands though. If I don't accept their offer, that is. Mm. I was recruited. He offered me a position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'll have to close my practice. Oh. I'll start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takimi Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. Uh, that's troubling. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm kind of happy for her, but um, kind of sad that she's not going to be directly helping. I'll urge my patients to transfer so that, to that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. Oh, so she'll still be able to treat them there. <laughs> hmm, you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> part about The part about being recruited is true, and I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I still, uh, I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Oh, wait. So she was lying about taking the head of... Uh, once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwachan and receive my reward, her smile. Oh, I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give you, my little guinea pig, for holding up his end of the deal. It feels like my bond with Takimi is growing deeper. Alright, nine. Alright. Whew. Anyway, you were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I was. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay. You can tell me. Hey. <gasps> Why do you keep coming to me? Oh, I should choose. Okay, okay. So this is uh, this is the romance path. Uh, if we if we want it to be, and honestly, like she would be a character I would be interested in um, seeing where it goes. Uh, but it is kind of weird that she's so much older than. That's right, we're, in, we're like a second year in high school and she's a practicing doctor. She's gotta be, she's gotta be at least 30, right? 
I mean, if you're a doctor, you got eight years of... Okay, I mean, maybe she's late, mid to late 20s, but still, that's like 10 years on this guy. Uh... Eh, it's a video game. Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? I wanted to see... Ah, oh, so that... So this is where we would romance. Uh, but again, going after Kasumi in this playthrough. So, it was for my exams. I see. Is that so? Well, I can take a hint. It's getting late. You should get along. Come visit anytime. Ah. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I'm bumped. I'm a little bumped. Hey, guinea pig. Thanks for tagging along today. I've got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track uh, for the cure to go through. And something tells me I'd never have gotten this far without you. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me even when the one of those side effects could have killed you. <laughs> you really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. Uh, you're welcome. It was a breeze. I'm glad we saw it through. Well, it'll still need some tests and adjusting before it's ready for actual treatment, so need, still needs lots of work. But I have faith that someday soon it'll help me with Chan smile again. I haven't forgotten all you did to help me. I'll make sure to bump up your compensation a little. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. We're done with the clinical trials, but you can drop by anytime you need some more medical supplies. Might as well uh, keep getting checkups too. Better safe than sorry, right? I'll look to, at whatever you need me to. Okay. Almost done with her. Ah, you're back. Thank you, we are. Inmate. Oh, you haven't forgotten your, about your special assignment, have you? you? Better not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of the door. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I didn't. I didn't. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a little weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. Um. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. Hmm. I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. Uh, well. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. All right, let's see. Crosswords? No. Okay, so let's see who is out and about. Sojiro, Street Orator. Um, oh, yeah. And that's it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Beef Bowl shop and work and hopefully kick off the Street Orator um, element. Um, yes. Working at the Beat Bowl shop will cause time to pass, but in addition to receiving money, your proficiency will improve. Some days the shop will be more crowded than usual. During business, busier times, you will need to remember a lot of orders. Stay calm. You make it through the rush, you will earn more money. Okay. Let's get to work. It's good that we'll raise proficiency. I haven't done that in a while. I've been waiting. Oh, you're the new part-timer, right? I've been expecting you. No need to introduce yourself. I actually need you to start working right away. Any questions? Do you have any questions about the job? Uh... What does the work entail? Let me explain. Take customers' orders, prep them, serve them, ring them up, and then clean the store. The meals are all ready made, so it should be simple. Just make sure you're nice to the customers, okay? Done. Anything else? Uh, are there other employees? Sorry. Not quite. Our budget's been cut despite being short-staffed, so you'll have to do everything alone. You're a spry young dude, right? You'll be fine. I'll pay you more to make up for the extra work. Oh. Thanks in advance. Okay, I need to head off for a bit. Keep an eye on the shop until I get back. You're just- it's our first day and you're just entrusting us to everything. <sighs> this job is ludicrous. You have to do everything all by yourself from the very beginning. Oh well, just give it your best shot. I guess I'll be cheering you on. Hey, the meat's done. You'll burn it if you let it cook any longer. The customer there wants to order takeout. Who has time to prepare that? 
Nice work. All right, good work. You can leave now since it's the end of your shift. Ah, this is your payday. This is your pay today. Thank you. I hope you can keep it up. Ah, we didn't get to talk to the guy. He was sitting right there too. I guess we always have to do an introductory. Um, that was so hard. This job is so demanding. You didn't do anything. Uh, but you still manage all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you are pretty proficient. <laughs> well, thank you, Morgana. Oh, I should be using a uh, fortune teller to help boost those. I keep forgetting. Let's head back. Okay, we'll do that next time. Try and remember. Okay, Friday. Do we have to go to school? Oh my oh. heart, swoon! <laughs> what was that? Everyone's incompetent. Those phantom thieves need to hurry up and deal with Akumura. On it. Uh, not just him, but all companies that exploit their employees. Yeah, we're in trouble too, you know. Take out one, you gotta take them all out. It's only fair. Man. Why are they raking us over the coals? No one's ever happy. No one's satisfied. We do all the work. They don't know. Class is starting. Let's begin class. We'll continue from last time. Well... Uh, ahem. Mr. Ushimaru, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? What? I don't know what business this is. You better study on your own until I return. Oh, we get a free period. Oh, perfect. Hey. That voice, hey. Wasn't that Kawakami on the PA? There's no way that announcement was real. It must have been the signal. Kawakami will sometimes give you free time by calling teachers out of class. Use this time to do various things such as reading or crafting infiltration tools. Ooh. However, you will gain knowledge by choosing to study instead. Please keep this trade off in mind. Okay. Uh, Kawakami's been kind enough to give us free time, so we better put it to good use. What do you want to do? Uh, let's make infiltration tools. Oh. What a great idea. Just make sure nobody notices you. Um, okay. So, we have four already, so let's make... Uh, I guess we can only make four. Okay. Yeah. Make it. That should be good to hold us over um, for like another mementos trip or something. Hmm. Uh. Waste of my time. God, they don't even know who they called. They don't even know who called me out. Anyway, time to resume the lesson. Yep. Phew, that was close. Kawakami helped us like get a good chunk of free time though. Only On could have helped us. What's this? Huh, okay. It's a loading screen. I mean, this game is pretty good about mi minimizing any kind of, like, feel of a loading screen, right? Like, it never feels like we're waiting. Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about that target in Mementos? What target? Like, who do we have targeted? Man of many faces, winners don't use cheese. All right, I think we need to wait for a couple more before we uh, do a memento trip. Who's saving us up? Shibuya people watching. He really wants to hang out. Um, but we are going to... Um, <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, so we are going to see... Maruki can go up. Yusuke... I'm kind of wanting, thinking we should do um, Maruki because we uh, we haven't talked to him in a long time. Let's see, classroom, student council room. Wait, that's not right. He is. I think he's on the first floor, actually. All right, let's go down here. Um. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's oh, get welcome. one of these autumn breads. We'll get to buy one of those. Cures hunger. We were kind of needing that at one point. Uh, where is the doctor? Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. I see him on the map. What's up, Mandel man? <laughs> hey, good work today. What? what are you talking about? It's already autumn. You'd expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Ah, yes. 
Uh, thanks to you, my research has been going so well. Really, you've been such a huge help, Juice. So... So I wanted to talk to you, but do you have time? Closer, my bomb will go mm. up. Yes, help him out. Thank you. Thank you, Juice Kun. Oh, since we have time, I was hoping we could talk at that cafe you're staying at. I'm a big fan of their coffee. Let's head out now. I'll get dressed, then we can get going. I'm sorry. Sorry for coming over here out of the blue. You must have a real knack for coffee, Juice. This is fantastic. Um, I really wanted to talk. Uh, another cup? We got curry, too. Ooh, let's try and upsell him. I'd love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain myself for now. You see... It's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately, thanks in no smart, small part to you. But I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate if you'd help me talk through this again. Uh, I can do that. It's a deal. I'm not up for this. I can do that. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that the, I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized the problem, one that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Um, uh, isn't that enough? Do you need more than that? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone. But I just can't be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people who... Uh, there are so many people out there suffering so badly. They can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is pain... This is a painful, cruel, bitter world. And there's only so much one individual can do can do to fight against that. I said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I deep down I I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions? I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In, true, in turn, we have infinite methods by which we try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. Um, so what can we do? That's a hard question, so give up. Um, so what can we do? I haven't been able to get the question out of my head, but I don't have any answers. I'm not used to that. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, to understand, and then remove the root cause of their pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Uh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. And he's talking about like, instead of being more individualized, like to be more generalized. Like that's always been like, I would compare it to like cars, right? They used to be like bespoke and made um, by one person or like a team of people would just work and build one car. And then, you know, Henry Ford came along and created basically the conveyor belt. And then it just became like, um, each person just does one piece and you don't really get a whole feeling of it. I think it's like, I get what he's trying to do, but I don't necessarily think that's like the way to go. Like you're generalizing everyone's pains into like the same thing rather than seeing individually what, what the issue is. Everyone's cognition? Importantly, importantly, what is this mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Oh, he might be tied into mementos then. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as a collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. 
Huh, she's coon. Did I say something wrong? All hearts share some things. What if they're connected? Oof. I don't know if I want to lead him to this. All hearts share some things. Hmm, yes, there are common factors. No, wait. Oh! You're right, my god, you're right! That's it, Juice! The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right, and if I combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science, too. Uh, cognitive science? Whoa. Uh -huh. huh, yes. What about it? Oh, I didn't say earlier. The research I'm doing is on cognitive science. Ah, but I'm sorry. I need to go. I need to get this in my paper while it's still fresh in my mind. I knew it'd be worth bringing, uh, to you. Thank you, Juice. I swear I'll repay you for this. I can sense a powerful gratitude from Maruki. Okay, no perks. All right. Um, I think he's another counts, uh, confidant that will lock off, but I don't know for sure. I get the sense that he will, though. All right then. Well, I need to get going. See ya. There's something, something doesn't quite sit right with me about him, you know? Oh, Juice. Sorry for uh, rushing out so suddenly earlier. Uh, calm down. What's going on? Heavy breathing pervert? Sorry, I ended up running to the station in sheer, on sheer adrenaline. Didn't realize I was this out of shape, though. Anyhow, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake, too. Seriously, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this what really and what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It's okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you. And sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there is any more progress. I get why Haru is worried. But let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. Um. Nice. Who's, who's messaging us? Uh, this is Kawakami. Uh, I'm, con I'm contacting you not as Becky, but I'm as your teacher today. There's something I want to talk to you about. Are you free? Um. Oof. She's always thirsty for info. All right, we're gonna avoid her. Um. Let's check our little map here. What day is it? Also. Friday. Um, okay. Kawakami will go up. <sighs> really need to get, kick the orator um, into gear. Because I don't know if we'll have enough time. Shoot. I think we're, I think we should go work at the beef bowl shop and, um, and get that, get that guy going. Uh, but what I'm gonna do to uh, to to boost, I'm gonna use our fortune teller friend. Uh, read your fortune. Do a fortune reading. What shall we do? Let's do a um, money affinity social stat. There we go. That's what it was. Five thousand yen. Fortune red. What are you going to do? Do it. Uh, please think of some area in which you'd like to increase your luck. Uh, proficiency. Hmm. The temperance card. Seems you will greatly benefit from taking actions that will increase your proficiency. Alright. Okay, so now, let's go to the beef bowl shop. And hopefully, uh, yes, work at the oh. full place. Let's get to work.
Crap, he's not here. Another huge group came just came in. You're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Oh no. One medium natto bowl. Oh god. Medium natto. One large beef. Medium natto, large beef. Medium beef. Large beef, medium beef. Large. Oh god. Medium. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, one medium hugyo row. Oh no. Uh, yes. Alright, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? Uh, medium natto. Mm -hmm. That's right. Second person is large beef bowl. Hey. Third customer is medium beef bowl. Nice. And then this is where I get a little fuzzy. Uh, Hugyo rule. Well. Alright, now you just have to make everything and serve them. You... Ah, yes. You appear to have a difficult time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm. Mm, I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you I'll again. Leave, I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey! Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. Okay. My. Whoa, good work. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. We were as crowded today as we usually get on Yakiniku Day. I wonder if there was some event happening nearby. Thanks in advance. I paid you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. 8,000. Yeah. Okay. And... You're amazing today, dealing with so many orders. That was sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. Yeah, and we had our bonus too. <gasps> yes! Proficiency is maxed. Perfect. That's amazing. Alright, we got one of the five skills down. We don't have to worry about proficiency right. ever again. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Gives me hope that we're close to the others. Because uh, I didn't think we were that close with proficiency. Hey. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Why don't we? Uh, thanks to the book on speed reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. Uh, Flowerpedia, Expert Billiards, Pirate Legend, Guts, uh, Video Game Easy, Shrine, Spotter, Yum... Ghost encounters. Guts again? Alright, knife, hot spots. Man, we have a lot of books, but I wanna read we'll read the pirate legend so that we can return this book in the library. Hmm? The lone pirate ship sailed forward, forging its own path through the crashing waves. Wow. The pirate Captain Kid, huh? Ryuji should read this book. Whoa. Still got time to read. Let's go a little further. All right, I love that we can um, read more than one um, section at a time. Oh. So you finished reading Pirate Legend. I love how Captain Kidd was the leader of a ragtag group of outlaws. You must have learned more about courage after reading Captain Kidd's exciting adventures. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about knowledge and charm. I, I think guts and kindness are probably lagging behind. But there's no way to know because of this game. Afternoon. Now everyone. Autumn is for eating. Autumn is for art. Autumn is for reading. Oh, is this poetry? Stores will use whatever reasons they can they can to pull customers, pull in customers this season in particular. Um ah yes. People also say that autumn is for sports. A while back, baseball was the national sport, but these days people have been into soccer. Um, as you know, black and white are the common colors for soccer balls. Now then, Juice Con, can you take a look at this picture? Soccer ball. You know this one? How many white and black shapes are there respectively on a soccer ball? What? Oh, crap. Um, well, we know there's definitely more white than black. And I don't think there's only five. We can count even more than five on that photo alone. 
I don't think it varies. Well, they're different. Like, not all soccer balls use the, like, pentagon shape, right? Like, sometimes they use this, like, blobbiness. But I think they're talking about... Let's do this one. This is it. Precisely. That's correct. Yeah. This ball is composed of 12 black pentagons and 20 white hexagons. Wait, the whites are hexagons? Ah, uh, I didn't know that. That's made, it's made up of a total of 32 surfaces. Oh, they're right. I never noticed that. It's interesting. By the way, apparently soccer balls used to be the only one color. They changed it to black and white so it could be seen better on television. What? Is that true? I had no idea. Television was still in black and white then when they started airing soccer in Europe. At any rate, the contrast of white and black next to each other. It's a slick design, don't you think? That's amazing! Nice goal. Well, I definitely learned something today. Probably uh, push some other vital info out of my brain, but you know, whatever. Recent designs have been caught my eye as the moon burger, which is just an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of bad rumors surrounding Akubara Foods, but you can't argue with hunger. Mm. You think someone really, like her, like her really eats hamburgers? A uh, hamburger sounds really good right now. Psst. Actually, pretty hungry. <laughs> uh, okay, who's I aming us? Thank you for earlier, uh, Ralph Lisa. Oh, this is uh, Hanasaki from the flower shop. Sorry to bug you, but could you come into work today? Hey, we already have multiple jobs here. I'm not gonna... Uh, maybe someday when we need the, the kindness. Thank you for earlier. Thank you so much for the other day. I feel like our discussions really will help me make some strides in our research. Do you think I could get your help today as well? Um, possibly? Fun later. Let's see. Let's go return the library book. I believe the library is one level up. What's up, Ryuji? Let's run over here. What's up, Makoto? I'm not leveled up enough for you yet. What would you like? I'd like to return a book. Pirate Legend. What would you like? Borrow a book. Okay, Gallant Rogue, Guts, Guts, Proficiency, oh. Um, alright, well, let's yes. just... Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Um, okay, so, let's see. Futaba will go up, Maruki will go up. Um, alright, well, I want to try something, actually. Let's see, let's go to... Station Square. Now is oh, hello. I'm scheduled to give a speech here tonight. If you're interested, I'd love for you to come. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come here tonight and talk to this guy. But for now, let's go hang out with Maruki then. Oh, I'll, I'll just answer his uh, text. What's up, buddy? Yes. Go see him. Thank you. I'm looking forward to looking forward to it. See you in the nurse's office. Well, shall we begin? Well, let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these phantom thieves of hearts. The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest in them. You really are dedicated. Are they even relevant? Are you a fan? Are they even relevant? Ooh, three. Um, they are. Well, I believe so, at least. It's just a gut feeling I have. I just get the feeling the Phantom Thieves' work and my own research are rooted in the same principles. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. Uh, for example, there's the matter of their methods. According to these calling cards, they send out, their stated method is to steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas, Jusuke? No idea, as in removing it? How about you, Mur- Yeah, let's find out what he says. Nah. <sighs> a question for a question, huh? That's unusual for you, but let's see. I suppose it'd be possible if there was some material proxy for these desires. Say. Jusuke, do you remember the story with the cookies? In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. 
think we can look at this in the same way. They're not something dis easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Put another way, if that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookie skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? A change of heart? Uh, I'm a little worried about him being... Again, I it's, for some reason I just have a feeling on him, but whatever. Right. Could be in my head. Well, we got the right answer at least. Uh, that's right, the Phantom Thieves' own change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't know exactly how they steal these desires, of course. But if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of intangibles, let's say a world composed of the contents of people's hearts, well, they're thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, Juice, you think I'm getting anywhere here? I have no clue. Sounds pretty far-fetched. It's intriguing. Let's say... Sounds pretty far-fetched. Yeah, well, he likes that answer. I'm with you there, but that make even even more incredible if I'm anywhere close to the truth. Then again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves himself. Does he know that we're a Phantom Thief? Hmm. I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you. Thank you, Juice. He sense his heartfelt gratitude in me. Alright, level up. Any bonuses? Ooh. Raises the chance of flow succeeding. Alright. Okay. Now, today's mental training technique. How about something like this? Oh, we didn't get one of these last time. All right. X SP increased by five. Yeah, we need that. Oh, and here, never a bad time for snack, right? <laughs> Phantom well, wafers. See you. Hope we can chat again sometime. Okay. Um, Saturday evening. Ah, you're, you're back. back. Uh, there haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Akumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us. Damn, I'm glad we're famous. But it's highly improbable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We, we're also going to be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Uh, it's just like any like comment uh, field in, or comment thread in any website. It always gets so toxic. Our, inactive, our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Hey. Come to think of it, that guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Um, Alright, who's messaging us? Hey, good evening. I'm in Kichijoji. No. I do need to focus on him, but uh, gun enthusiast, shop by, stop by the shop, decide later. Um, let's go to Station Square. There we go. Everyone. Poverty, working poor, our country's job market is terrible. Ex depression and suicide are on the rise, and young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world is filtered down into society. You. You, listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Uh, I am interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interests of someone your age. Hmm? Hmm, have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some things if you choose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Uh, I'll be glad to. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? 
<laughs> that's, that's weird. Uh, you're a student from Shujin Academy, hmm? It's nice to meet you. I'm... Oh, God. Toranosuke. Toranosuke Yoshida. Um, I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. The diet? What the hell is the Diet? In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. Oof. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Uh... Everyone. Oh. <laughs> oh, we just hold up a sign. I wonder what it says. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However... However, even in this modern day and age, it's, it is imperative that we act in the best interests of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must change. Huh, easy for him to say. Old timers like me have your, our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no-name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's gonna change, we'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of state in the, cap in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? You mustn't base your decision on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. <clears throat> If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to... In the best interest of all? Ha! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Thank you. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? Um... The best interest of all? I'm glad. Indeed. Do you feel the same? Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times, like today, when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? Um... You have my support. Thank you. Thank you. It's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I've grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Well, All then, right. I shall see you again soon. Perhaps I'll ask for your impressions again sometime. Oh, we didn't unlock him as a confidant. Interesting. Huh. Who could that be at this hour? You have off tomorrow, right? I'm going to be on standout by the hang hideout. So, we got to play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes, and you can use it to let it test out your let out your stress. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first, and I'll wait. It's a retro game called Power Intuition. Look for, look forward to it. Time to make like a tree. We should get some sleep if Futaba is going to be here during the day tomorrow. I feel bad that we almost never take up these people, but we have so much else to do. We have so much to do. Oh, we have a day off. Oh, it's Sunday. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, Get through these loading screens. At least they're interesting, right? Like, uh, if you wanted, you could read through those and there's... Okay. Hey, hey Sark, Futaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. All right. Um, well, that reminds me to do the home shopping uh, program. Is Terry. Yes, we do need to do that. Nice. Healthy. Who's, who's messaging us? What are your plans? He's always hitting us up. We will get to you, man. Uh, decide later. First thing, go here. Let's see, calming aroma and smoke screen and lock. <gasps> Five lock picks. Oh, wait, there's more. The fun set. Phantom waivers, calling postcards. Um, I think we're maxed out on lock picks, right? Like, what happens if we have too many of those? Hey, hey. Let's just get it anyway. Okay. Another buyer just called in. Thank you so much. Uh, they're both sold out. Okay, okay, whatever. Well, then. 
Okay, now let's go. Um, oh, what's up? Oh, she looks so sad. Sorry, I ran right past her. Um, we are gonna do some laundry. We're gonna let Kawakami do it. Okay. Oh, you can only hire Kawakami at night. Okay, okay. No, we're not gonna do this. Come on. Hey, don't give me that attitude. Um, Takimi, Yusuke, Makoto. Ah, no one that we... Alright, so, what we're gonna do... We're gonna go to the underground walkway. I finally remembered. We're gonna get some juice. Welcome, uh, fresh juice. Hi. Uh, increase our knowledge. Yes. Bye. Well, then. Chug it down. Nice chugging. That's how you do it. Good job, I was watching you try so hard. Got one little knowledge. Okay, um... Well? L let's just try something though, let's, um... Station Square. Is he around? I might just need to talk to him again. Whoa, there's no one here, what the heck? That's weird. Alright, so, Yusuke can go up, Takimi, uh, she won't go up, Yusuke will though, and he's been kind of bothering us, like, lately. God, I really need to... Alright, let's go to Underground Walkway. Um... Wait, where is the, uh... We need to go down these stairs. Go this way. And then, Yusuke. Hmm. By the uh, way. You need something. I came here to see you. <laughs> um, hmm, you must have a wealth of free time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm still unsatisfied by what happened at the exhibition. I thought I've thought a great deal about it. And well, there is something I would like to try painting. Do you think you would be free to help? Closer, Bond growing up. Yes. Well, what's your call? Spend time with the Yusuke? Hang out with him. I'm in your debt. It would be rather difficult to go by myself. Now then, our destination is. Ah, oh, seriously. I want to see more of Tokyo than this. The stupid part. Thank you. Why are we riding this rowboat together? <laughs> what the heck? Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to do the rowing? Why are we in a boat? <laughs> uh, what other reason could there be but to search for my next motif? I will be counting on your cooperation today, by which of course I mean your oar work. Oh, great. Look at all the ducks, they're so cute. <laughs> Don't get so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Hmm, perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between a man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible in these devilish ripples. Uh, amid these devilish ripples. Mm. Ah, it's an <laughs> incredible. <laughs> that bashful side profile. These, those moist eyes. Ew. Their overflowing passion is wholly evident. <laughs> they are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in, in time all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is a natural end to any such relationship. But even beyond that, love endures. Precisely, this is the truth of the human heart. <laughs> it will make the most wonderful painting. I know I'm like terrible at acting, but I just like this is just a way for me to get through these like all this reading in this game. I just kind of have to make little tiny voices for myself, I guess. Uh, it shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next uh, exhibition. If I could read. Uh, wait. 
Now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Hey. Please, can you remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. Oh my god! Yusuke, I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all, all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Well, you should probably get their, um, their consent. Le legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a second. Are you drawing us? What? Are you using us as models? Yes. A man and woman intently swaying in the dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks. The bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Ugh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. <laughs> Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Familial? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination. It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Um, love comes in all forms, maybe you should train more. You have a wild imagination. <laughs> mm. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Ah, <sighs> romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh indiscernible depending on one's point of view. Hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Sark, I feel as though I've learned something today. I can sense quiet resolve from Yusuke. <laughs> uh, negotiate with a lone shadow fails, you can try again. Okay. Alright. Um, <laughs> he just seems so lost in his, like, in his journey. Wait, so only couples write these things, right? That means those two... Shh! There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Ooh, tell me more. What are you talking about? Let us return home. Ah, well, come. It's time to come. It's, it's about time we return home. Please row us back to shore. See hey. You. Farewell. <laughs> ah, Yusuke. I always found them to be more of the duller characters uh, of the group, right? Because you have such colorful ones like Ryuji and Futaba. But I kind of am getting a new appreciation of him. He's just like so oblivious in certain ways that it's entertaining, you know? Um, Sark, thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Though I progressed by one step, there is no doubt I would face many difficulties moving forward. When, when will I fully understand the heart? Even if I do ever do understand it, will I ever truly be able to draw it? Don't get discouraged. Keep drawing. You lack love yourself. Don't get discouraged. You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarsmanship from your end as well. Thanks. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. Bye. All right, Sunday uh, evening. You're back. That creep hasn't tried anything funny, right, Haru? No, I'm okay. Thank you for asking, Anchan. Father did say he'd rescind the marriage offer as well. I'm a bit worried, though. There's still some time before the deadline. If anything happens, be sure to let us know. Thanks, Mako-chan. <laughs> I love that she calls her Mako-chan. I will gladly reply, rely on all of you. There is also the matter of the mental shutdowns. I hope no danger comes to Haru. I guess Haru's dad did say that he was just making requests. Yes, the true culprit is still out there, triggering mental shutdowns in exchange for money. We gotta catch whoever it is. Any idea who that culprit might be, Sark? Um, the black mask person and money monger. Black mask person. Yes, they are definitely the most likely perpetrator. Either way, I'm sure we'll learn more once Haru's father speaks up about it. We just gotta wait for his change of heart. Utaba's right. We don't have any intel now, so there's nothing we can do. Let's wait for Okumura's change of heart, 
then pursue the truth behind the mental shutdowns. Okay. I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech. And oh yeah, so okay, so maybe we'll go there and do that. Let's see. Uh, street order. Um, no one else is rocking. All right, so let's go Station Square. Go turn around. Yep, he's back. Everyone. Poverty, working for. All right, he's already said that. Hey, about Yoshida's speech skills. We should make sure we should make use of them when you're negotiating with Sha when you negotiate with shadows. Good idea, right? You should ask him. Mm -hmm. Teach you how to give speeches. Why? Uh, I want to do what you do. Mm. I'd love to help you, though. How shall I teach you? It's time for my speech. Let's talk about this later. All right. Maybe this will finally While kick him off. Society appears to be prosperous. Many of our young people are quietly suffering. They lack jobs, security, savings. The next generation will lead us into the future, and yet they have no plan for how to arrive there. Watch where you're going, you little shit. Whoa. You bumped into me, you old goat. This isn't good. Um, let's mediate. Yes, let's. Good citizens, please stop fighting. What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none of your business. Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. <laughs> What's with this guy? <laughs> now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together, we can create a bright future for the next generation. Ugh. God, so righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora. What? As if anyone would actually vote for you. Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, no that, that was all in the past. Oh, I've gone and done it again. Um, you're a criminal? That's campaign obstruction. What? Yes, but I cannot say that to the crowd before an election. Regardless, whenever someone calls me no good Torah, I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. The National Diet? I think maybe that's one of their political parties. Because otherwise, I, don't I was know. elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Torah's three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Oh. Then I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party, giving me two strikes. Whoa, these are these are kind of serious. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal. And strike through. I don't know if we should ta be taking this guy's advice. I was out and branded a washed up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet. But do you see the man before you? A questionable background, accused of embezzlement. However, he has the conviction and wants to change the world. Public speaking skills could be useful in the Phantom Thieves, so I'll make a deal with them. Do you really want to receive my guidance? Um, you seem to have conviction. I'm happy to hear that. Everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? Um, have confidence in yourself. <laughs> You're doing a good job of cheering me up. But you may be right. 
The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? Made a deal with Yoshida. All right. Finally got him. He's been uh, he's been kind of uh, my target for a while because the last couple of times I played, the first time I played, uh, first time I totally ignored him, um, and then only found out later that he was a character, a confidant. Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? Well, it is now. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the sun persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Sun, rank one! Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, a ways to go. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. All right, we're underway. You. I'm sorry, there's something I forgot to mention. It's about my speech schedules from this point on. Will you be able to stick around to hear it? Uh, let me write this down. Of course, if I must, yeah. <laughs> Quite a practical young man, eh? Well, I won't take up too much of your time. I'll be here giving my speeches every Sunday. You're welcome to drop by and help whenever you've got the time. All right, so Sundays. Well then, I shall see you again soon. That's all I want to say. Now be careful on your way home. So we got to try and uh, make sure our Sundays are pretty open to do drinking the juice. And then juice senpai, thank you so much. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I just got out of that meet I was talking to you about and my routines were the best I've ever given so far. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Um, I didn't do anything. You're the reason I've come so far, senpai. You've helped me so much, even with the mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I just want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now I'd better get going. Have a good night. All right. Good job. Kasumi. Good morning. Hey, Makoto. The palace is gone, so I guess we're waiting for a while. What do you guys do at times like these? Um, <laughs> I'll tell her study. Ah, are you saying that it's important to play the part of a diligent student too? <laughs> I'm impressed. I wish Ryuji could take a cue from you. All right, so another school day done. What's up? Um, do you have time today? We could do some more Maruki. Um, respond later. Want an exam? We could finish her out too. Five later. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Maruki can go up. Yusuke, Takimi won't go up though. I really need, um, I really need Goro to, to pop up around whenever I'm open. All right, so let's do, let's do Maruki then. We'll make that the theme. And uh, after this, we might end the episode. See how that goes. Go see him. I'll, then I'll see you there. Ba -da -ba. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. So today, I'd like to start off with our usual topic. 
not. I had you go in there, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> juice, you're in for a real treat today. I know it's been a while since you've had one too. Uh, what's he got? What's he? What's he got up with? I'm good on cookies. What do you mean? Thanks, but I should get going. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Good question. So, I recently found out this delicious looking buffet. It's apparently very well regarded and has all sorts of cuisines. Is he talking about the one that we've been to? Well, thanks to your input, I'm making some real progress on my paper. I'd like to take you to that buffet. It's my way of thanking you. How does that sound? Buffet sounds great. Uh, ooh, really? Can you afford that? Sorry, I prefer sushi. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we'll take a buffet. Of course. Honestly, I feel like this won't even cover what I owe you after all you've done for me. How about some royalties on that, uh, book you're writing there, eh? Uh, well that settles it then. Okay, let's go. We should, we should head over there now before they get too busy. Now. Alright, now this is all on me today. No holding back, eat as much as you please. Um, thanks for the food, so much control, this is quite a spread. Uh, thanks for the food. Hmm, dig in. Although, maybe I went a bit overboard for my first trip. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pace yourself, man. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Alright, sorry, would you mind if I ask you about something before we eat? It's about my paper. Uh -huh. Hmm? Sh Shibusawa? Huh? Maruki? Who the hell is this guy? Huh? I knew it! Shibusawa, in the flesh! What are you doing here? That's my line. It's rare to see you in a restaurant like this one. He looks weird. Um, oh, and who might this be? He's... Uh, how do I put it? I miss people. It's complicated. We made a deal. <laughs> that sounds a little... I like the... Uh... I want to say that as like kind of a jokey way, like, I don't know, let's say, a deal. Not over anything shady, is it? <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Anyway, this is Juice. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibu Shibusawa. Shibusawa was one of my colleagues back in college. He's the one who recommended I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been a good, I hear it's been doing you some good, too. I catch wind of your going on every so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can also be a bit care too carefree. <sighs> you didn't have to mention that to part. Not that I can refute it. But anyway, tell me more about how you've been. Fill me in on this guy, too. Oh, but aren't you here with others? What about them? Eh, it's fine. We just happen to swing by here. They won't mind me being my being away for a bit. And do you think you two are really gonna be able to tackle all that food on your own? That's... What? Oh, right. So you're a student at Shijin Academy, Juice. They've been on the news an awful lot this year. And that's where you're counseling now. Yeah, but only part-time. So what are you two doing at a place like this? This is some kind of private counseling session, right? He's, well, he's been giving me a hand with my research. I just brought him here as a thank you for all his help. Research? I had meant to mention this earlier, but my paper is finally almost finished. Uh, congratulations. Way to go. Thank you. Hmm. And it's all thanks to you, though. Paper? The one you were doing research for? You mean you're still... Yep, I'm still at it. Even after all that went down. After all of what went down. Wait, what went down? What is he talking about? You remember what I told you? That I'd finish this paper no matter how long it took me? Maruki. <laughs> you blow my mind sometimes, I swear. You've got to be the most stubborn man in the world. Hmm, is that supposed to be a compliment? Anyway, it's not 100% complete yet. I haven't even begun to peer review the peer review process. Oh, seriously? I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I mean, I did perform all the peer reviews for your publications in college. Huh? Really? Of course, man. Why not? In fact, let's... That's it. This is now officially a celebration. This meal's on me today. 
Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm supposed to be treating Juice today. Oh, don't worry so much. Don't you want us to congratulate him too, Juice? Um, I sure do. Let's celebrate. I don't care who pays. Let's celebrate. See? He's up for it too. <laughs> I do appreciate it, but I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this. Oh, don't sweat the details. Come on, let's go for a second round. We've got to hit up the meat section and the vegetables and the beans. That was great. Oh, what a feast. I think I've hit my caloric intake for the entire week. Mm, man, am I going to get an earful for piling on the pounds? Hmm? By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiance to be more exact. I'm getting married soon. Ah, I see. <laughs> Wait, married? Yep, married. Now you're the only one left that's from school who's still flying solo. Hmm. Sorry to pry, but I feel I need to ask. Are you still... Actually, forget I said anything. Hello! Hmm. You were going to ask about Rumi, right? Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, she's a girlfriend of yours? Who's Rumi? Should I leave you to the... She's a girlfriend of yours? Yeah, former girlfriend, to be precise. Well, uh... Well, I was all... I was just too spineless at the time, and we broke up at, by the end. Hmm. Hold on. It's not like it's a tragedy or anything, though. She's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter another relationship of that sort right now. Huh, this was supposed to be a celebration, yet I've thoroughly killed the mood. Sorry about that. No, no, it's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap things up here? I have to say, it's really good to see you doing well. And your paper almost finished too. Hey, Juice, keep an eye on this guy for me, alright? I mean, it's pretty rare to see him open up to someone like he has with you. You're talking about me like I'm some sullen kid. But I do need to express my appreciation properly. Thank you. Thanks so much for being helping. That's thanks so much for helping someone like me make their dream come true, Juice. And sense this intense trust in me. All right, man, we are getting up there. All right. Um, but that's good because I, again, I think he's one of the ones that we have to finish sooner than the others. Uh, should we get going? Don't forget to send me that paper, okay? I'm seriously going to review it for you. <laughs> I won't. I'll be in touch soon. Be careful, okay? Thanks for spending some time with me. Make sure you're careful on the way home. Alright, Betty's gonna call us. Because they always call. Hey, it's me. I suppose I was supposed to treat you today, but huh. Sorry things didn't go as planned. Shibuya's always been quick to offer me his help. Uh, well, I said Shibuya, didn't I? Um, well, maybe it's because he knows I'm a little careless, though. Uh, he's a good friend. Learn some independence. You'll get the tab next. He's a good friend. That's true. He actually helped me out a lot. Running into Shibasawa was quite a coincidence, but a very lucky one. He was the best in the department when it came to peer reviews. And maybe you're bringing me good luck with him, too. Or maybe I'm doing too much magical thinking. Well, see you later. Okay, so evening. Ah, you're back. Yo. Another box came for you. Hey. What'd you get? Calming aromas, smoke screens, lock picks. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a crossword? No. Um, let's go. First things first. Oh, it's raining. We're gonna do some um, laundry, because I forgot to do that a couple times already. Okay. So we have a lot of stuff. Okay, oh man. Um, Sudi for cats, yes, I need something for cats. Another item, Sudi black armor. More black armor, let's try the astro armor. Let's try black armor again. Run washes is. Oh, she said she'd do it for free. Hi. I quit the job, but I can't turn you down. What do you need today? Laundry? Got it. Leave it to me. Oh, she doesn't charge us anymore. That's fucking great. Oh, sorry for cursing. Um, Sojiro. 
Hifumi? Hifumi's back. Oh, yeah? God, there's no Goro. How do I get Goro to show up? Like, I really need him to... Alright, let's do Hifumi. Oh, wait a second. Um... What I want to check, actually. God, there's so many places. Uh, yeah, let's do one of these twin activities. We've done, like, we've done, like, so much confidant stuff. Like, uh, let's end this with, uh, something a little bit lighter and fun. Um... What are you gonna do today? Alright, name the location, Justine, and you do the honors. Now. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate your rehabilitation is... One that offers up faith and words of devotion. Every day, lost sheep flock there to pray. There are even cases where individuals will confess to crimes. Confessing one's crimes due to a fear of divine punishment. This is a familiar ring to our own inmates' rehabilitation. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be the church in Kanda. What will you do? It was, we were just there! Then... Oh, so it's called the church. Let's witness the so-called faith that humans offer with our own eyes. Guide me, inmate. Lead us there, inmate, now. <laughs> uh, these two. Oh. So this is where one prays to the gods in your world. The peaceful atmosphere here is the antithesis of a prison cell. Hmm, is that man sp standing there one of the gods? Uh, he's a priest. So, oh, so a servant to the gods. That explains why I don't sense any exceptional abilities in him. What is that over there? A smaller room? Oh, I know. It's an Iron Maiden for reforming criminals, right? Whoever goes inside and fails rehab rehabilitation gets skewered. <laughs> it's a confession booth. Confession booth? You mean this tiny box is where crimes are confessed? Is something the matter? Hey, you! We're here for the confession booth deal you have going here. Oh, you seek to confess at such a young age. All right, which of you would like to go first? What are you saying? Which of us? Do you intend to split us up and pick us off one by one? <laughs> no such luck. We're both going in. Uh, I see. You're free to do so, but there really isn't much room inside. Are you attempting some sort of deceptive practice by calling yourself a servant of the gods? You what? Listen to people's concerns? This isn't a form of rehabilitation. Regardless, such talk is cheap, but pays quite well. We shall undertake this confession and ascertain the truth for ourselves. Then, uh, as for your confession... Hmm, what to confess? It's probably unkind to kick the inmate, but it's part of my duties as warden, so that can't be held against me. Inmate? Warden? It's none of your business. We're speaking to the god right now. Recently, I've been shifting my more mundane bookkeeping responsibilities onto Caroline. What? You what? I knew my workload was feeling larger for some reason. But she made so many mistakes in her work that I regret not doing it myself. Excuse what? Excuse me? <laughs> of course I'd make mistakes when I have nearly twice the work. How about yourself, Caroline? Don't you have anything you'd like to confess while we're here? Uh, hmm, like what? I know you went out and ate menchi katsu all by yourself. Did you really think you could escape my notice? Erk, I was curious about the line. Like, what could humans want so badly that they would stand in place for so long? <sighs> Megadalao. <gasps> fine, fine, fine. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Confession time is over. We're done here. <laughs> Odd as it may be, I actually feel quite refreshed. Were it not for this opportunity, we would have likely kept those matters locked away deep in our hearts. Um, did you learn to be kinder to others? What kinds of sins are you guilty of? <laughs> Why would we do such a thing? I don't see anyone here whom we owe any kindness. Did you think we'd actually regret the treatment we've given you so far? By the way, why do humans pray to gods? Shouldn't they be spending that time trying to solve their problems themselves? Uh, people have- humans have their limitations. It's kind of support. Sometimes it's all- it's kind of support. Have you given up on taking care of your own issues? Perhaps you're the one who needs the change of heart. 
No matter, we've come to learn how these places of worship work firsthand. We'll consider the assignment complete. Here is your reward. Samaricarm. Okay. You know, confessions seem like they'd be rather useful to your rehabilitation. You have to confess to us every day. Put that out of mind, Caroline. Once we return, you're going to tell me all about your experience eating you-know-what. What? Well, but I've already confessed. Not enough, you haven't. Let us return. Take us back now, inmate. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room. <laughs> uh, those two. All right, what did we get? Hi. Old shocking scarf, Keely vest, and uh, old undershirt. All right. Well, I like that we get those for free. Um, new day. Wow. What's that smell? Did you get a new perfume? It's nice. Yeah, it's the new fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious, like the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out there taking down an evil corporation. A show of support, huh? I could post a photo online of, to all the fan merch I've amassed. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. <laughs> yes, we we're motivated by you buying perfume and crap. Okay, so... We are... 14 days out. Uh, so still a lot of lot to do. Um and I am okay, so let's let's this. do a quick save actually. Um yeah, let's do this. Okay. Uh yeah, we'll uh we'll leave it here for this episode. Um made some pretty good progress. I'm just happy that we got the uh um the political speaker, because he's been one I've been trying to get added to our confidant list. Um and yeah, so we'll just keep going with some of these social activities uh, in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.